Hello everybody and welcome back to Great Leveler Gaming. I am the Great Leveler. On today's episode we're back for some more Death Stranding. And last time we were at the Incinerator. What is this thing doing? Uh, and obviously we've uh, came across these guys and we need to make our way back to the city and avoid these. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing to avoid these guys. So I'm just going to crouch to be on the safe side. Uh oh, they vanished. Oh, nope, they're back. What are they doing? So I don't know what's safe and what's not. Can I cross this wavy line? Do I have to duck underneath it? It's not giving... Well, it gives you clues for how to keep balance but not how to avoid enemies. I don't want to know why I'm holding my breath. There's nothing happening. So, I'm wondering if these things... Oh, ooh, I don't like the look of that. Oh, is this all the plants dying? Holding your breath will make it harder for BTs to detect you while you're moving. Oh, so I can move and hold my breath. Okay. So, yeah, everything's dying around. This is so... I don't imagine how good this game looks. Okay, let's get our breath back. Oh, what? I don't know. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Shake it up. Shake it up. Ooh, shake it up. I don't know what. Oh, God, look at what it's done to everything. It's like corrupting everything around it. Come on, Sam. You can do this. All right, um. That's not good. So I'm wondering if um, all these... Oh, look at them following me! You can piss right off! So I'm wondering now... Uh, I've been I've edited the first video uh, just before recording this one. And it's making me wonder if what we're seeing... Uh, if it's kind of like the underworld? Oh god, look at all the handprints on my outfit. I've only just seen that, sorry. Oh, I think we're getting away from him. Uh, I wonder if it's actually like the underworld. And um, we're seeing like their shadows in our world, but they're like literally directly underneath this earth. So the handprints we're seeing is actually coming from another realm. So not physically in this world. Again, I don't know. I'm just guessing. Let me get my endurance back up. Uh-oh. It's given me no indications to how to avoid these things, other than to hold my breath. I really want to run. I really, really want to run. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no, 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 no! And this literally feels like... Hold my balance, come on! You won't take me alive! Uh-oh, they're going to take me. My endurance is down. Come on, come on, we're, we're the, right there, we're right there! Okay, let's get a breath. I seriously have no idea what's happening. Are they coming closer? I don't think so. Oh no, I don't want to... Have a good look at you guys. <laughs> Alright, my endurance is back up. I really so badly want to run. So, again, I don't understand what my BB thing is doing. It's alerting me that they're here, but I don't know how to get around. Is it pointing where they are and I need to have the opposite direction? Do I need to stay still? This is not the way we came either. I don't think. Alright, I think. I think we might have outrun them. That was intense. I can't believe we stayed alive. I feel like we're gonna um We're gonna die a lot. Now I'm curious as well. Obviously Sam can resurrect, apparently. But I'm curious as to if I can only do that in a cutscene. Because from looking at that, if I get 
pulled into the Earth from that earlier incident, a huge crater occurs. And I... It makes me wonder, basically, because does that mean... Oh! Enemy-induced adrenaline rushes. Enemy produces a rush of adrenaline that rapidly restores stamina. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so obviously if every time I die a huge crater occurs, then the entire map's going to be changed. So I don't think that's going to happen. So I just die and... I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. So can I only... Die like it said in the cutscene? Don't really know. Again, this... Uh, this game doesn't want to explain the stuff that you really want to know. <coughs> yeah, Cytobite. Uh, oh, so I can drink from my canteen. Drink Monster Energy. So, yeah, clearly sponsored by Monster Energy. Uh, I can assure you my channel is not sponsored by Monster Energy, though. So, um, although, if you guys want to sponsor me, if you somehow happen to be watching this game, then... Hey! <laughs> I'm always looking for a bit more money, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Oh, God. So, yeah, look at it. Uh, I mean, this is what, again, I've mentioned before, but this is what Hideo Kojima does really well. Um, hang on, how do I... Nothing in that one. Equipped. Prepare to... What? Be considerate and leave yourself away from other people. I can urinate as I choose to. <laughs> okay. Um... And I can put some sunglasses on. Nice. Oh, no. I keep forgetting how to look. Does that change my view? No. Oh, I can check on BB. How you doing, BB? Who's a good baby? Who's it? Oh, yeah, just spinning around. That's what babies love to be just... Just rocked around. Oh! I can move my pad to rock the baby. <laughs> and as I was saying, uh, this is what I like about Hideo Kojima stuff. It's the attention to small details. Uh, mud and stuff staying on your clothes. Uh, little obscure things like being able to rock a strange baby to sleep. It, it's all the things that make his game stand out. Um, he didn't need to put these things in here, but he likes to because it's the little details that make the bigger picture. And, oh, I want to live here just without the Death Stranding stuff. This is a really nice place to live. I mean, I'm fortunate, in case you guys don't know from my accent, I live in South Yorkshire. And I live on, like, the outskirts of a quite a big city. So, ten minutes I'm in the city centre. It's a big city, like, don't get me wrong, but ten minutes in, on the car, in the car. I don't I don't skirt, uh, surf into town on the top of a car, no. In my car, going into town, ten minutes. A uh, load of good shops and all that. Ten minutes the other direction, and I'm in... An area like this, the Peak District, we call it, and it's absolutely gorgeous. And of course, we've got some more music. All right, I, I, just bear with me one second. All right, so I can't do anything about it. Okay, um, I, I noticed that the music's actually really loud. It doesn't sound that loud when I'm recording any more so than what anything else does, but um, it's actually quite loud listening back in the recordings, which is unusual. I uh, usually can't hear anything from the game audio uh, at worst. Oh god, where are we? Ah, uh, okay, that's a long way down. Uh, but I can't turn the um, I can't turn the audio down. I can turn either everything down or nothing down. And I've also come across a weird option about spoilers. Hide spoilers. Well, I don't understand what that means whilst you're within a game. Fair enough. Uh, no, I can't. Th I can't think of how that works. So the only thing I can imagine is if I'm I uh, I cut it out. But I mentioned in my first video. That sometimes when you're playing like Metal Gear Solid 5 and such, uh, a message will come up saying game recording uh, has been paused, blocked, which, whichever it was. So you couldn't record any of the cutscene because they don't want people putting spoilers up. Uh, and so far I haven't come across that in this game, so I thought they got rid of it. However, I'm wondering if by changing them options, uh, it will not block the scenes. So I I'm hoping that I'm not messing up cutscenes by changing that option to hide spoil only my spoilers? No. What did I change it to? Let's have a look. Let's have a look whilst I'm talking about it. So I changed it to... Hide signs containing spoilers. Show my signs only. I don't know what that means. Originally it was hide spoilers. But I'm, I was worried that that might be spoilers for everybody. Uh, I really don't know. So 
apologies in advance if I've messed it up. If you've already played this game and recorded it and know that I've messed something up, let me know now before I get too far. Uh, but yeah. I, and again, I, I like that they've put this music on, but it also annoys me that they've put this music on. Because, again, it would, I would much rather have the option to play the music I want to, to play. Um, it feels very reminiscent of Red Dead Redemption. Uh, the first one where you cross the border into Mexico and this big swelling music plays it really welcomes you into uh, Mexico as it were in that part of the game and it was a really good moment but for the rest of the game it's just in-game music the same as it always is this feels like it's just trying to replicate that every time I'm walking it's almost like they know there's nothing to do so they keep putting it in I'd much rather have tapes I could listen to or anything like that oh anyway Nice landing. Um, it's alright, you don't need to grip. It's only a little bit shallow water. Uh, so yeah, that was a, an incredibly fun scene. And again, look at the water. Look at it. Come on. Come on, Sam. Uh, I think... Well, we're definitely heading back towards the city. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming this game was open world. I presumed it was, but... Now that I'm playing it, it feels very much like it's going to be linear. So... Hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping once we've got this um, opening level kind of done, the, the actual world itself is going to open up to us. We're going to be able to take missions that we want, follow the story. Again, I've been very good at avoiding spoilers um, for this game. Uh, unlike other games where it comes up. Oh, look! See, again, small details. The hands on my trousers have all disappeared, but they're on the backpack. That's because I've only been in waist high water. So if I. Can I, can I swim? Oh, I don't want to hold my breath. I want to. I want to swim in the water. Shut up, baby. You're you're fine. There it is. Don't worry, baby. Everything's all right. Let's get back to the land and stand up and clean. See what I mean? How cool is that? Very is the answer. Just in case you're wondering. Very cool. Uh, also, um, again, the, the costume. So, the time fall obviously accelerates time. That's the whole point of it. Uh, which is why we're wearing these suits. And I mentioned, I wonder if it's something particular that they're using. It makes me wonder if it's plastic. If we're wearing plastic, because how long it takes for plastic to age and degenerate. <sighs> degenerate? Degrade. Degrade, that's the word. Uh, stupid degenerate plastic. <laughs> no, uh, to to degrade so I wonder if the plastic suits but it makes me wonder why do we not have face masks I know I didn't need to put these sunglasses on but I'm glad I did yeah because I've, if anyone's been out in a rainstorm even if you've got a hood up if the wind turns you're going to get a face full of water so um, yeah come on guys face masks pretty obvious if you, you know, if you ask me and you didn't ask me but you should listen right. to me in we go that was easy enough Why do you keep making noises? No need. No need for noises. Oh, and I'm out of control. Okay. Yeah. Only just made it. Them sunglasses things are <laughs> really cool. So ridiculous, but so cool. God, again. Jeez, how, how has anyone survived? It's a miracle either of you made it back. You're telling me. When someone with dooms hooks up to a BB, your feelings and memories cause feedback, like with the speaker. It oh, is that what that was about? Fears and stress, and runs the risk of taking you to a place from which you will not return. I'm sorry, but this BB has been pushed beyond its limits. This puzzle is the only option. You said that last time, and it got me back, kind of. Sam, get cleaned up and come to the president's office. We need to talk. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hide this little BB in my backpack. Although technically, I don't actually have a backpack. I just have a frame for the backpack. So yeah, I am. I'm going with Sam was a BB. That is my theory from early on. It was a BB. Maz Mickelson freed him, and he grew into Sam. Wait, that was a different plug-in. Yeah. 
Look at that gorgeous man. Don't worry. But then why, how would I be the president's daughter? It's son though. The president's daughter. Be with you. See the sunset. The day is ending. Why are all lullabies so creepy? Or is it just just the fact that Hannibal Lecter's singing it? Ah, oh. oh, look a little heart bubble. How did you do that, you gifted little sod? Look at these beautiful sunglasses. I'm taking them off. They look ridiculous. Although, to be fair, if I could buy a pair, I probably would. And just while we're um, in a cutscene as well, there's a book series I like. Um, Sam, the, I thought oh, I what's told it called? you dooms and BBs were a dangerous combination. You only told me two oh, minutes ago. A shower is in order. You're still covered in I'll tell you about this. I'll tell you I about want the president to see just, you like that. What the hell are you talking about? She's dead. <sighs> You're upset. Is this about BB28? Go fuck yourself. I'm not your errand boy. Well, in any event, it seems it owes you its life. Stop oh, shaking the shower, baby! Right? You too. As you say, I shall look after it. God damn right. Stop shaking it. Give my regards to the president. Oh, he misses me, Lord. Um, so is the president's like, mind being uploaded into a computer? We have the technology. I'm sure stairs would have sufficed. We don't need to build an elevator just to... Just for this. What's up with you, Sam? Stop being so dramatic. And there's a lot of talk of beaches in this game, and I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's almost time to go, Sam. What it's all about. Oh, here we go. Ah, here's my dream catcher. It's a dream catcher. Wear it when you sleep. And I'll keep the nightmares away. I'll always be with you. Oh, this is so this is his sister. We need to go track down Emilia. Emilia. Oh, that was actually a brief cutscene. Nice one. It'd be cool if I could choose my own outfits. Oh, look at that! office take a shower oh god any excuse to get Norman Reedus naked so this feels very much like um, Metal Gear Solid 5 with uh, mother base but I can't walk around I can only my toilet is not yet fixed but the shower is all right uh, sorry let's use it whoa Bloody hell, you'd think there was a woman in here how fast he got undressed. So, just while Sam's uh, getting himself all cleaned up. God, he's in a mess. Uh, yeah, I think it's the Night Core Demon War Cycle. I can't remember the name of this cycle now. For fuck's sake. Is it anything? Uh, but basically, anymore? demons have affected this fancy world. They only come out at night. Uh, what? Oh, no, there's my toilet. Yeah, I know. I already knew this. I was just getting showered to do it. You've told me three times in 30 seconds. God damn it. I'm just trying to talk. Basically, yeah, demons come at night and the only way to protect yourself is in warded villages and warding stones. And then you've got you couriers well, that Sam. travel between the villages and they're kind of like regaled as like Bridget heroic no people be because us, they brave the night. Her legacy has and it just reminds me of this, but obviously this is a more sci-fi version of it. Sam, listen to me. A good series, though. If you ever get a chance to read America. it. Reconstructionism. Her dream isn't dead. I don't want to hear it. But she is. This uh, is the face of our new hope. Our new America. Oh, what are they doing? How have they done this? Is she just walking slow or is it in slow motion? I'm really tempted as well to plug in my HDMI cable my to record this, gone. but when I um, here. 
when I did it with uh, Detroit, it affected some of the darker colours. So uh, I'm I'm wary, but this looks so good as it is. I can't imagine what it's like with the HDMI cable. Right? And in all that time, she hasn't aged a day. Yeah, very suspicious you know that. My body's still on the beach. I don't get to grow older. Ooh. But you do, Sam. You look good. So you're serious then about reconnecting everyone? So wait, Everything. so the, there's so much to take in. Someone has. So she's to on a beach where she doesn't Sam. age. More importantly, someone has to carry on her legacy and see our country rebuilt. Samantha America Strand, our new president. Well, I didn't tell you a long new long. beginning for our people, for our nation. Under Emily's leadership, we'll re-establish the UCA, the United Cities of America. This is how we'll rebuild our country. But we'll need your help to do it, Sam. Well, I'm happy to help. Apparently, oh, I'm through with this. I said my goodbyes to all of you when I said them to Bridget. Yeah, actually, same to Bridget. We never forgot about you, Sam. You ran away. You cut us off. Emily put together an expedition. The best of bridges won. And what? went west. She, so she's literally on the beach. Is she projecting like what um, Dead Man and Fragile did earlier? them past craters in BT territory. I kept them safe while they searched for survivors. I'm assuming she's quite um, a good Never dooms. Mr. BT, so I'm coming a mile away. Oh, they are so creepy. We convinced community after community to join the UCA, and we left behind our own people to help them. It took us three years, but we managed to make it all the way to Edgenault City. Wait, is that where we are? All the way to the Pacific. Wait, I thought we Jesus. were... Oh, no, when? Yeah. Just not City. But then everything went to hell. The team was wiped out, and Emily was taken. By who? Oh, I'm guessing that guy that... Taken. Floated down onto the thing. I'm not being kept in a cell or anything like that. I'm allowed to use their facilities and to speak with you whenever I want. I just can't leave the city. It's all to safeguard the continued independence of Edgenot City. Well, that's what her keepers are saying, at least. They want the UCA to leave them be. Emily's their insurance policy in case we don't. Who are these assholes again? Oh, Normal now they got riled up. Militant separatist group. They run Edge Not City. <laughs> oh, they look so Heard cool. Them. Bunch of terrorists who go around towns killing people and leaving craters. Right. Nothing's off limits for them. Not even engineering void outs. Should you ever concerned that they've got the same kind of mask as what you're wearing though? Dead no, not you're not dead, man. You're You think the suicide that took out you? Central Knot was one of theirs? Could be. That would make They're sense. Extremists like the demons everywhere. Plotting in the shadows. They're decentralized by nature. No one organization to rule them all. Just a common ideology. And the ideology I know is not everyone shares our vision for the future. If we Americans don't come together again. Oh god, why are they always the Americans? Survive. There are other countries just as capable, I, I am sure. This message to people all across the country. But not everyone was willing to accept it. More than a few would rather stay isolated. Keep to themselves. Go it alone. Like you, Sam. Got a problem with that? They think that America can only be rebuilt by force. Is there by a reason you're wearing the school thing? What to do. Who take away their freedom and if he turned out to be shackles, would you allied me? Huh? with the bloody terrorist group, you I won't be surprised because the stupid mask is another kind of cult. They're not shackles, Sam. They're a symbol of our bonds. That's what we need right now. Not to stand apart, but to come together. To form chiral knots and reconnect. Sam, we want you to go west and finish what Emily started. 
The people she uh, left just behind have been hard name. at work, setting up chiral network terminals. Well, I mean, but these terminals right now, are still isolated. We need you to bring them online. And for that, you'll need a Cupid. A Cupid? This contains all the necessary security and operations protocols. Oh, we had that on his neck in that cutscene. Web. Take the Cupid West, Sam, and reconnect the people of our great nation. And when you get to Edgenot City, find Emily and bring her home. Wait, they've even got that guy looking like Solid Snake. They've got the ponytail and everything. That's clearly After an Easter egg, right? I'll take over the presidency and carry on Mother's work to save the country. And the world, This apparently. was Bridget's dying wish. This is how we'll move forward. And why am I the only person? Please, Sam. We need you. I'm Sam Porter Bridges now. I'm not a strand. Hell, I'm not even part of this outfit. You all saw to that. I'm not getting involved with you. Or anyone else ever again. Wait. I can walk through you. Yeah, that's right. See, it's like I'm not even here. Same as it ever was. Ooh, bird. Sam. God, she's just had too many cider in the last minute. <laughs> Hold on. Stop. Listen to me. America needs you. Both of you. Yeah, covering the world in cable didn't bring an end to war and suffering. Don't act surprised when it all comes apart if you try to do it again. Round and round it goes. Connect, reconnect, it's not that simple. He's all right, all right, Sam. Just take it easy. I get it. Do you, though? You don't have to commit to anything now. Why not get some rest? Good idea. We all need our sleep. Leave it too long and you're liable to reconnect with the other side. The necessary Stop shaking my completed. baby! Various adjustments and fine-tuning for your benefit. You can use it again. I appreciate that. Thank you, Deadman. For once it would seem that Dooms and BBs are a good combination. What happens when they get too big, though? <laughs> or perhaps the two of you have something of an affinity for one another. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, then do remember to hit that like button down below. And whilst you're at it, if you haven't already, then click the subscribe button, which is also on screen here. If you want to watch some more great level of gaming content, then follow the links on screen. And I will see you guys on the next episode.